guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting right to episode 9 of My Next Life as a Villainous. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. For a moment, like the way this started, I thought this was going to be a sad episode. Oh. Because please tell me I was not the only one with the way you watched it and you get into the few first minutes and you hear the music and you're like, um, something about this is going to be sad and maybe a little depressed. Like, I don't know, but, uh, thank God it's not. Maybe I could be speaking a little too soon, but hey, Patsy is moving on to her next thing. Keep guys to the next Like a party or something? It's still there. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, you're going to trap me here, though.
cute. Literally everybody, everyone, everyone loves that child. <laughs> well, fun. Yeah, but it seems like Nicole is more, like, really tiny. Not as big as, like, you know, the Prince or even Keith or Mary or Sophia. Ellen is more small as well. People are just naturally drawn to her. I mean, boys are not invited. <laughs> well, when you eat, have a pillow fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you boys can't come. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> if only video games existed in this time. Oh my god, well can't you clean while you're looking? <sighs> what about like a nightgown or, you know, a romper? Let me know it. <laughs>
Oh my god, Mary, like that force. Jesus. Oh my god. Really? You're not like Wilma from a sentence of a book are you? Where you don't like men. See, I told you this episode was going to get sad. Learn about someone's backstory. And that's why you ask guys. That's why you can't get married. Because you're smart. For him.
you know, it's good that Anna is telling this backstory because there's so many, like, unanswered questions with the relationship of her and Katarina. So I'm glad we're getting this. I mean, it's nice. Oh. That's what you want. In a way, you're married to her. And she's so good. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> She's probably dreaming about some food. Interesting. <laughs> so you're telling me on wrote that. Yeah, you have to go. Mm. You can give her flowers or sweets. Well, you can still give her flowers with yeah. Well, you can still give her action. <laughs> you don't have to just give her the garden shares. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
could do that. I mean, do you even have time to do all of that? Shit, everybody here. <laughs> oh. Baby, I mean, I'm thinking like, dang, he's the only one who brought it. Alright, good, 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 good. <laughs> you feel so bad for him. Like, so bad. <laughs> like, I was assuming it was just gonna be him and Katarina, but no. <laughs> He's always one step ahead where everybody comes. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> oh, you gotta vote so bad for him. Evil deeds, like what? I mean, she hasn't done anything bad. She's done so many good things. So, what evil deeds are, unless the, they're thinking that the good things that she's done for like these past few episodes are her evil deeds or the thing with the shadow thing that happened like two weeks ago, maybe? I don't know. But, <laughs> okay. So, number one, it was really nice to learn about Ayn. I mean, honestly. Ayn is really one of those characters, like, when we first met her for the first time and everything, that I wanted to know more about. And I kept hoping and hoping and hoping that the first half of the show, that we were going to get an episode specifically about her. But I'm glad in the second half we're getting more an episode about her. So now it makes me wonder, like, who else could we possibly see an episode about? I mean, we've literally seen an episode about uh, this whole entire cast. Like, dead eyes. I mean, there really is not a lot. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. have. So really, I don't know what these last, like, few episodes could really be about. I mean, not only with this evil deeds this girl is talking to Katarina about, it could literally be about anything else. I wish we could have seen the boys sleep over. That would have been nice because then you're, you're sitting here wondering, well, what the heck are these four guys going to sit here and talk about until they go to bed? That's the biggest question because, you know, with girls, we already know what we're going to talk about. But with these four boys and... Literally, the only the only thing that they have in common is that they all secretly have well, not secretly, three out of the four have crushes 
secretly have crushes and one just we all know that he has the biggest crush on him be on Katarina because you know he's engaged to her so <laughs> the elephant in the room but yeah I mean they would talk about probably pretty normal guy stuff I mean as I said in the episode if there was a video game system in this time that was existing I mean yeah they could do that same thing with the girls but the girls just talked about like really interesting things and like I said learning about on was interesting I mean it was something that, like I said, I wanted for, like, the longest time. But I think going into these next two episodes, skipping 10 and going to probably 11, 12, and if there's a 13th episode, because I don't remember how many episodes the show is going to get, literally, I'm nothing comes to my mind of what in the world it could possibly be about. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 9 of my next life as a villainess. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 10. Bye, guys.